Hi. Think big. Shoot for the stars. If you fall short of your objective, you might reach the moon. That's the kind of reasoning that I remember hearing back in the day from hyper-excited motivational types, and I disagree with it. Because I think it's better, more effective, to set obtainable goals, obtainable objectives. Because you might get to the moon and find out that it's a hunk of rock and dust and very inhospitable, you'll be unhappy with your results. Now, I don't think it's a bad idea to have big goals and you're not gonna, if you're achieving all of your goals, then you're not making big enough goals. Every once in a while, we should be failing. Yeah, we should have a little bit of reach. But again, I think it's best to, you know, to, uh, to set achievable goals. That's one of the elements of goal setting that I want to talk about in this video about goal setting. Today is a great example. I have some, some objectives today. I want to shoot this video, a horizontal YouTube style video. Plus, I'm going to do two shorts and a photo shoot. I have two of my models coming later today. And uh, talking about my models, I can kind of segue into a larger goal that I have in this whole video photography thing that I'm doing here in Bangkok. The models that I use, I have four, sometimes five models uh, that are young women from 18 to 22, and they're all related in, or good friends with my girlfriend, Boa Cow. And I pay these young women a thousand baht per session. That's about thirty dollars. That's good money for uh, uh, for a Thai person, a working class Thai person. Say a clerk in Seven Eleven here makes three or four hundred baht a day. So you know, a thousand baht is is a is a generous stipend. And so they look forward to that. You know, uh, one of the models that's coming this afternoon, Sai Sai, is a, a niece of my girlfriend. And she's a veterinary student. She's a graduate student studying to be a veterinarian. So the extra dollars go a long way for her. It's, it's helpful to her. And part of my larger goal is when I finally monetize my YouTube channel, which I'm very close to doing, I don't need that money. But what I'll do is I'll take that money and I'll apply it to this enterprise and perhaps be able to get more you know, young men and women to come and participate in my photo shoots. They're out they're all out taking selfies of themselves anyway. and may as well come in and get a good one. And, and, um, uh, and yeah, and I'll be able to uh, pass that on, you know, pay it forward a little bit. You know, a goal I talked about in one of my last videos, a little bit of uh, generosity in paying it forward. Now, the problem with that goal is another element of goal setting that I like to apply that I can't apply to that goal of monetization and paying it forward is I don't know exactly when that's going to happen and that's beyond my control. I could just continue to do what I'm doing and hope that it all comes together uh, as quickly as possible. And I think that a very important uh, element of goal setting or objective settings is to have a deadline because deadlines make you do stuff. So I'm going to give you another example of personal goal setting and that has to do with me and my yoga practice. I've been pretty fit most of my life. About two years ago, I lost that fitness edge because I got lazy during the COVID shutdowns and, uh, and I put on 20 pounds. So it was a bit of a struggle to get back to a point where I started feeling fit again. Well, I'm at that point. I've lost the weight. I'm practicing my yoga very regularly. And my yoga is a very difficult and demanding style of yoga. It's a 90 minute session done in a hot room, heated to 104 degrees. And it's, it's, uh, I can't do all the postures 100%. As a matter of fact, there are several that I can't. And there's one in particular posture, standing bow pulling pose, that I've always found very difficult, even at my peak fitness levels 10 years ago. Uh, and, and here's an example of a, a nearly perfect, or an actually perfect, standing bow pulling pose. It's being uh, executed here. The guy in this, in, in this video is Joseph Encina and he's the best in the world. He's a world champion and he's really, really good at it. To set that goal for myself is, you know, it is not a good goal for me because even at my peak fitness, I couldn't execute a posture like that. As a matter of fact, most people in the world can't ex execute a posture like that. He's world champion level. So that would be, you know, in the realm of unattainable goals for me. A more attainable goal for me would be this. Now, many of you know this individual this is Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, when he took this photograph, was about 52 years of age, and Joe is an athlete. He's a top-level athlete, and he practices, or at least he did back then, he practiced my yoga, Bikram yoga, three times a week. This posture is a really excellent execution of standing bow pulling pose. 
Now, as as a Bikram Yoga teacher, I would tweak it a little bit. I would have him get his head so the center line of his face is perpendicular to the floor. His head is tilted a little bit, and I would get that kicking foot in the center line of his head as well. But I don't want to be too critical here. That is an excellent presentation of, of, uh, of standing bow pulling pose done by a 52-year-old man. That's my goal, is to be able to execute standing bow pulling pose as good as Joe Rogan did when he was 52. Now, the deadline for me is going to be August, August of 2023. I'm visiting New York City. I'm going to visit my family. I'm going to a family wedding there. And I will practice yoga in at least two New York studios. And I want my practice to look good when I get there. Be the old guy with a good practice, you know. So, uh, so that's my goal. So I have a deadline, a by when. I will have a Joe Rogan standing ball pulling posture by August of 2023. So those are the elements of goal setting that I try to think of when I'm, I'm setting objectives and trying to think big, is think big, but make it, keep it within the realm of possibility. Have, uh, have a plan of action to achieve that goal, and if, and if the chaotic universe sends you different things like a 98 degree day where you don't want to go out and shoot a walk and talk video, be ready to shift and change your path and your plan of action. And have a deadline, because deadlines are going to motivate you. Deadlines are a motivating thing. I've found that in many elements of my life. And go out and tell people, like I just told you, you know, people that are important to you, you know, that they can hold your foot to the fire. You know, just telling people that this is what I'm going to accomplish and this is what I'm going to have it done by. And you tell people that you care about that you're doing that and that alone will be a motivating factor. So that's my little video about, uh, about goal setting and objectives. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.